State of the art heart procedures and one the nine hospitals in the country to offer it is St. Luke's in the Metro only on 41 Action News. Jordan Betts shows us how this procedure uses sound waves to save lives. According to them, it was showing I was having difficulties. Meet Mona Murphy. She had major blockage in one of her heart arteries. And when wanting to fix it, doctors at one local hospital gave her bad news. And they couldn't fix it with a stent. They said I was going to have to have open heart surgery. And I told my kids that I wasn't going to have open heart surgery. I was too old. Murphy got a second opinion. Doctors at St. Luke's thought she would be a good candidate on a new clinical trial. It's called Shockwave. About 30 years ago when they developed it for treating the kidney stones, so they use ultrasound waves from outside to break up kidney stones. Uh, this technology takes that same, same idea, miniaturizes it. Doctors guide a specialized wire through the patient's arm, find the blockage, and it begins to break. We have a position where we think the calcium is the greatest. Uh, then we uh, uh, start the device and the sound waves uh, go out through the healthy tissue uh, to where the calcium is. Before cardiologists would try to open the artery up by a catheter with a small balloon on the tip, but sometimes it could be difficult. When you have a lot of calcium in those arteries, it becomes really hard just to stretch the artery open itself. Doctors say this procedure is not for everyone and that there are many ways to fix blockage. After undergoing the procedure, Murphy is just happy to be living a healthy life and has even upped her workout game. I'm up to 20 minutes. Started out at 5. <laughs> in Kansas City, Jordan Betts, 41 Action News.